This truck was revolutionary for its time and still is. And this one had a unique design that was more than just for looks. It was to save cost. But people just weren't ready for this gorgeous pickup back then, so it's pretty rare to find it today. And that goes for a lot of the trucks in this video. These are the six unbelievably rare pick trucks you can't miss. Starting off at number six, it's the Jeep J10 Honcho. When Jeep transitioned from the Gladiator to the J series, they didn't just change the name, they also brought some major upgrades to the table. These included a revamped front axle, front disc brakes for better stopping power, sturdy six stud wheels, and reinforced frame cross members, making the J10 iteration a force to be reckoned with. Now, even within the J10 lineup, there were some standout trim packages like the Honcho, 10 to 4, and Golden Eagle. Among these, the Honcho stands out as the rarest one, with only 1,264 units rolling off the production line between 1976 and 1983. It sported some distinctive features, including wide 8 by 15 inch spoke wheels paired with rugged off-road tires, a sporty steering wheel for that extra flare, and a unique Levi's denim interior that added a touch of style to the cabin. But maybe the most impressive part was the striking gold stripe adorning the bedside, fenders, and tailgate, setting the honcho apart from the rest. But this next pickup is probably just as unique. At number five, it's the 1961 Ford Unibody. This unique truck is a standout from Ford's F-Series lineup. It's got a seamless blend of cab and bed, with none of that traditional gap you usually find between them. Back in the early 60s, Ford introduced this revolutionary unibody design. And boy, was it something. It offered a larger cargo space, with a massive 16% more room than its predecessors. Plus, the unibody design wasn't just about aesthetics, it was a cost-saving measure, reducing both materials and assembly time. The idea was definitely quite bold. With vehicles like the El Camino and Ranchero gaining popularity, Ford thought, why not make a truck that feels more like a car? They targeted the suburban crowd, offering a vehicle that was practical yet stylish, capable of handling chores while providing a smooth ride for daily commutes. Ford didn't stop at the unibody. They added 23 pounds of sound deadening in the cab, packed the seats with extra foam, and designed the doors to swing wider. Options like dealer-installed air conditioning, a panoramic rear window, and even optional seat belts and mirrors were all about enhancing comfort and choice. Under the hood, the standard power was a 223 cubic inch, 137 horsepower straight six engine paired with either a three or four speed manual transmission. And for those who wanted more power, there was an optional 292 cubic inch V8. But despite its innovative design and features, the market didn't embrace it. The unibody truck had a significant flaw, loaded up too much, and the entire truck could bow, sometimes so severely that the doors jammed shut. Not exactly convenient when you're trying to hop into your truck, right? So despite how cool this design was, by 1964, Ford scrapped this approach and reverted to the classic body-on-frame setup. With the limited number of these that were made, the unibody is definitely a gem for collectors nowadays. Next at number four, it's the Dodge Midnight Express truck. Back in the 1970s, Dodge rolled out something special for gearheads, the adult toys from Dodge series of lifestyle pickups. These were not your ordinary work trucks. They were designed for folks who wanted something unique for their personal use. One standout from this lineup was the Midnight Express, a dealer converted gem that could definitely grab your attention. It sported a sleek black paint job with a bold Midnight Express truck decal on the door and eye-catching gold pinstripes. This truck was a sight to behold. But what really set it apart were the twin exhaust stacks, giving it a distinct and aggressive look. But it wasn't just about looks. The Midnight Express truck packed some serious power under the hood too. While it didn't have the same punch as its sibling, the Leal Red Express, with its potent 360 engines, it still had a formidable 440 engine capable of delivering 245 horsepower. But of course, 
The coolest thing about this pickup is its rarity. It was only available for the 1978 model year, and there are only about 200 units known to exist. So if you're lucky enough to come across one of these collector's items, you've stumbled upon a piece of automotive history, and the same can be said about this next truck. At number three, it's Chevrolet's Big 10 truck. This pickup was a special version of the C10 half-ton pickup that ruled the roads from 1975 to 1980. What made the Big 10 stand out was its unique capabilities. This was a heavy-duty two-wheel drive beast built to handle more weight than the standard C10. And just to make things even more exciting, in 1979, the Big 10 came with an optional F44 package designed for toughness. You had your pick of front springs, ranging from 1,625 to 1,700 pounds, and a sturdy rear with a solid 2,000 pound capacity. Plus, it boasted heavy-duty power brakes, beefier tires, and the choice of a robust 305 V8 engine. But that wasn't all. The Big Ten also had a secret weapon. While other trucks were grappling with the new catalytic converter requirements in 1975, which meant shelling out for pricier unleaded fuel, the Big Ten sidestepped the whole issue thanks to its gross vehicle weight rating. It avoided the need for a catalytic converter, offering a breath of relief to truck buyers, especially those in fleets still using cheaper leaded fuel. But GM didn't stop there. They also fine-tuned the standard C10 and C15 models with special features, like a hood seal and underbody air dam to meet emission standards. They even offered a range of rear axle ratios aimed at better fuel economy. But with the Big Ten, you had more options. You could choose lower axle ratios and even upgrade to a powerful 454 V8 engine if you wanted that extra kick. With so many upgrades and extra features, finding a Big Ten, especially one with a factory installed 454 engine, is truly rare. Out of nearly 800,000 trucks built for that model year, only 5,726 were short bed big blocks. But that's still more than this next item on this list. At number two, it's the GMC Sonoma GT. GMC really shook up the scene when they unveiled this compact pickup. This truck was a unique blend of style and performance, drawing inspiration from its turbocharged cousin, the GMC Cyclone but without a huge price tag or turbocharged engine. Originally known as the S15, GMC rebranded it as the Sonoma and added some extra flair with the Sonoma GT. Assembled with precision by GMC and given final touches by Production Automotive Services in Michigan, the Sonoma GT stood out from the crowd. The result was a truck sporting a body kit inspired by the Cyclone, featuring front and rear bumpers borrowed from its turbocharged sibling it also had a bunch of practical elements like fender flares, lower door skirts, and rear quarter bed corners which added both style and function. Inside, the Sonoma GT treated drivers to a touch of cyclone luxury with black and red piping on the door inserts and bucket seats. While it missed out on the embroidered logo on the headrest, the dashboard had that cyclone vibe, minus the boost gauge since this truck didn't pack a turbocharged engine. The Sonoma GT boasted a powerful L35 Vortec 4.3-liter V6 engine, which could pump out 195 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Paired with an automatic 4L60 transmission sending power to the rear wheels, this setup delivered solid performance. With only 806 ever produced, finding this out in the wild is definitely a real treat. Finally, at number one, it's the Ford Skyranger convertible. So back in 1991, Ford teamed up with a third-party manufacturing company to give the Ford Ranger pickup truck a complete makeover. They transformed it into an extended cab convertible with sleek aero kits and eye-catching Skyranger graphics. One of the coolest features, the forward slanting manual soft top that neatly tucked away behind the front seats giving the truck a smooth, streamlined appearance when it's up. Plus, the custom-built Ford Sky Ranger convertible could hold its own, with a 4.0-liter V6 engine paired with a 5-speed manual transmission and all-wheel drive, delivering a respectable 155 horsepower. 
But despite its impressive specs and unique design, the idea of a convertible pickup didn't quite catch on with the public. In fact, only a handful of these unique Ford Skyranger convertibles were ever made, just 17 to be exact. That uniqueness alone makes them a real treasure for collectors and enthusiasts. Now, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.